Okay, so uh, this is a test yourself 14 on the simultaneous equations. Uh, first of all, solve these simultaneous equations. So the first one we're going to be doing is x plus 2y equals 13 and 3x minus 5y. So 3x uh, minus 5y equals 6. Okay? Now, the trick is with simultaneous equations is to choose one letter to get rid of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the y's because one was a plus y and one was a minus y. Now, what I do is pretend there's a window in between the two of them. The top equation sees the number 5, so I multiply the top equation by 5. Now, I tend to ignore the signs when I'm doing this, and the bottom equation 5 sees the number 2. So we're going to multiply these out, and that means multiply everything by 5. So we're going to end up with 5x, 5 multiplied by 2y is 10y. And then 5 multiplied by 13 is 65. Okay, next one multiplied by 2, and we get 3 multiplied, 3x multiplied by 2 is 6x. Uh, 5 minus 5y multiplied by 2 is minus 10y, and 2 multiplied by 6 is 12. Okay, so now we're going to add them all together. Uh, 5x plus 6x is 11x. 10y minus 10y cancels, uh, 65 plus 12 is 77, and then what we figure out from this is that x equals 77 divided by 11, x equals 7. Okay, now when x equals 7, we're going to replace x with 7, so it's going to be 7 plus 2y equals 13. Bring the 7 out here aside, 2y equals 13 minus 7. 2y equals 6, and then divided by 2, y equals 3. So the two answers are 7 and 3. Okay, on to the next part of that. Uh, the weight of the blue blocks is b grams. The weight of the red blocks is r grams. Our weight of one red brick is r grams. Four blue bricks and three red bricks weighs 58 grams as seen. So the weight of four blue bricks is going to be four multiplied by b. The weight of plus three times the weight of three red blocks, so plus three r equals 58. That's one equation. And then the next equation is five. Write two equations to represent these diagrams. So this is uh, equation a. This is diagram a, diagram b. Equation a represents diagram a. And then equation B, which is in red, is going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 5 blues, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 6 reds, okay, plus 6 reds equals uh, 86. Now we have our simultaneous equation made. Now looking at this, solve the simultaneous equation, solve the equation to find the weight of a blue brick and the weight of a red brick. So basically find B equals something, R equals something. So I'm looking down to two of these, and I'm saying, okay, I'm gonna get rid of the R's first. Okay, now what I can do with the top is, I can double it. So if I double the top, I'm gonna to get 8B plus 6R equals 58. And then I still gonna have, a, this is me doubling equation A. So if this is two times equation A, and now we have uh, equation B just below. Now, at the moment, the R's aren't cancelling because uh, when I add them together, I'm going to get 12 R's, so they're not cancelling. So remember, you're allowed on any one equation, let's say uh, 2 plus 3 equals 5. I'm allowed to multiply both sides by minus 1. So I could say minus 2 minus 3 equals minus 5. This holds true for simultaneous equations. So what I'm going to do with equation, this equation here the top one here is going to multiply both sides by minus. So I'm going to get minus 8b minus 6r and sorry that's 2 times 58 I forgot to put that down it's actually 116 so it's going to be minus, uh, minus 6r minus 116 so what we're now going to get is minus 3b the 6r's cancel and we're going to get minus 30 now we're going to get b equals minus 30 divided by minus 3. Because it was multiplying the left, it would be divided on the right. b equals 10. 
the weight of one blue brick is 10, uh, 10 grams. Okay, now I have to find out the, uh, the weight of the red bricks, okay? So I know four blue bricks plus three red bricks equals 58. So four blue plus three red equals 58. Four blue bricks is four multiplied by 10, which is 40. So 40 plus three red bricks equals 58. The three red bricks must represent 18, or simply 58 minus 40, which is 18. One red brick, therefore, is six grams. Okay, next question. Find the total weight of three blue bricks and six red bricks. Okay, so three blue bricks, six red bricks is going to be 3B, or 3B plus 6, or 3 times 10 plus 6 times 6 is going to be 30 plus 36, which is going to be 66 grams. Okay, so 66 grams. Okay, so let's just check our answer here. 7, 3, x equals 7, uh, y equals 3, I think it was. Uh, 4m plus 3r, or sorry, that's 4b plus 3r, okay? So 4b plus 3r is correct. 5b plus 6r equals 86. Blue is 10, red is 6, we got that. And 66 grams for part C, or for part B, okay? So there's our... Uh, 66 grams there so that's all correct okay now we're on to question two okay question two solve these simultaneous equations now to make it look like the last simultaneous equation you're going to move over to 5y so i'm going to get 3x minus 5y equals 13 and on the top i'm going to get 5x Okay, so uh, basically we have 3x minus uh, 5y equals 13. So the next one is going to be uh, 2x plus 5y equals minus 8. So we can just add directly downwards. And what we can see happens here is we're going to get a 5x. The y's will cancel. And 5x equals 13 minus 8, which is 5. This means x equals 1. Now we have to figure out what y is. So we can say... Uh, 3 times 1, because 3x minus 5y equals 13. Bring over to 13, bring over to 5y, and what we get is 3 minus 13 equals 5y, minus 10 equals 5y. Now we can spin that around, so 5y equals minus 10. y therefore equals minus 10 divided by 5, which equals minus 2 y equals minus 2, x equals 1. Okay, next question. ABC is an equilateral triangle. All lengths are in centers. Form two simultaneous equations and solve them to find the value of x and the value of y. Okay, uh, well they're equal to each other. All three sides are equal to each other, so I can say this side equals this one here. So I can say 3x plus 2y equals 3y minus 1 and I'm going to bring the 3y over to your side so I'm going to get 3x plus 2y minus 3y equals minus 1 and my first one is going to be uh, 3 3x minus y equals minus 1 so that's my first one with the two underlying blue sides okay now I'm going to do another one which would be uh, this one here and this one here this means that 3x plus 2y is the same length as 11 plus x minus 2y. Bring the x and 2y over the other side. So we're going to get 3x minus 1x plus 2y plus another 2y equals 11. We're going to get 2x plus 4y equals 11. And that's the green equation, okay? Now we're going to have to solve the two of these. So when I solve the two of these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this equation by 4. And if I multiply this equation by 4, it will end up turning into 12x minus 4y equals minus 4. And now we can see that the two of them are going to cancel off each other, okay? The 4y's will cancel each other. Now we're going to be left with is 14x equals 7 because 11 minus 4 is 7 
therefore x equals 7 over 14 which is a half okay now we have to figure out what y is okay so 2x 2x plus 4y equals 11 is one of our equations x equals a half so 2 times a half to so replace x with a half so 2 times a half is 1 so 1 plus 4y equals 11 bring over the 1 it becomes minus 1 4y is equal to 10 y is equal to 10 divided by 4 and 10 divided by 4 on the calculator is uh, 2.5 okay so y equals 2.5 and x equals a half which is 0.5 now I have to find the length of each side so all I need now is I just need to keep my two answers which are as 2.5 and 0.5 bring them up top and what we're going to do next is just going to put these into each we're going to figure out what each side is okay so 3x plus 2y I'm trying to figure out what 3x plus 2y is so 3x plus 2y which we'll do in our red is going to be 3 times uh, 0.5 3 times 0.5 is 1.5 so 3 times 0.5 plus 2 times 2.5 just put that into your calculator and what will come out as is 6.5 okay uh, the green side which will which will be 11 plus x 11 plus x minus 2y this should also come out as 6.5 because all sides are meant to be the same so we'll see what happens 11 plus 0.5 minus 2 times 2.5 Put that into your calculator it's going to be 11.5 minus 5 it'll also be 6.5 and then finally we'll do the uh the pink the purple side here which is going to be 3y minus 1 it's going to be 3 times 2.5 minus 1 7.5 minus 1 when you put in a calculator it's also 6.5 so all three sides are 6.5 so the length is 6.5 okay now let's just double check our answer here 6.5 it's a half and two and a half correct and our first two answers are one and minus two now we're on question three okay solve the simultaneous uh, solve these simultaneous equations well I'm gonna once again put in my magic line the top one sees the number two multiplied by two the bottom one sees the number three multiplied by three so I'm going to get here is 4x plus 6y equals 34. On the bottom, I'm going to get 9x minus 6y equals 18. All right, it's going to be 13x equals 52. x equals 52 divided by 13. Uh, x is therefore equal to 4 okay now that we know that x equals 4 we have to figure out what y is okay so if x is equal to 4 this makes 2x plus 3y equals 17 2 times x is 8 so 2 times 4 is 8 so 8 plus 3y equals 17 move the 8 over the other side it becomes a minus 8 this makes 3y equal to 9 and this means y equals 9 divided by 3, y equals 3. Our two answers are 4 and 3. Okay, so x equals 4 and x equals 3. 4 and 3. So x equals 4, y equals 3. Okay, next to find out, use the graph to find out the solution of the simultaneous equation x plus 2y equals 12 and x plus y equals 12 okay so the first thing I gotta do is find out where are these two lines okay well it says this one here which I will put in uh, I'll put in a uh, blue okay x plus 2y is in blue 
the next one, which is x, uh, which is uh, x plus y equals five, I'm going to put in green, which is this one here. And now all we got to do is see where they intersect each other. Well, they intersect each other at x equals minus two because it's minus two on the x-axis. And the value on the y-axis is in between 6 and 8, which is 7. y equals 7. Okay, x equals 2, y equals 7. Use the graph to write down two simultaneous equations which have the solution x equals 3, y equals 2. Okay, so x equals 3, y equals 2. We'll just check minus 2 and 7 just for the first question first. Minus 2 and 7. Okay, we're happy enough with that. Next one. Okay, uh, which two have the uh, have the? Okay. So which two have the uh, equation here? Okay, so this is what we're looking at here. Excuse me. We're looking for. Which two have the solution x equals 3, y equals 2? So look for the point 3, 2. x equals 3, y equals 2 is here. This is the this is the two lines, 2x two minus y equals 4. And the other line is x plus y equals 5. Okay? So that's our answer for that one. Now, uh, parts 3c. A woman is paid X euro per hour for a 30 hour week and is paid Y for each hour overtime worked. In a particular week she works 35 hours. So that's basically 30 hours at X euro and then 5 hours at Y euro. Okay, So she's going to get paid 30 multiplied by X, 30 hours multiplied by her rate per hour plus uh, plus 5y because 5 hours at y and she came out with 660 euro the following week she worked 42 hours now she still has to work her 30 standard hours and then it's just going to be plus 12 overtime hours 12 multiplied by the overtime right equals 828 Write down the equations in X and Y, or you did that, the red equation and the blue equation, and solve them to find their values. Well, the beauty about this question is they're both 30x. So I'm just going to multiply one of them by minus 1 to get minus 30x, and then it'll cancel. So I'm going to multiply the top one by minus. So I'm going to get minus 30x minus 5y equals minus 660. Then I'm going to get 30x plus 12y equals 828 add them together minus 30x plus 30x cancels uh, 12y minus 5y is 7y 7y equals 168 now divide 168 by 7 and we get 24 so the overtime payout is 24 euro per hour Okay, next thing I have to do is find out the x value. So 30 hours plus 5 overtime hours equals 660. Now, how much would you get paid for 5 hours of overtime? It's going to be 5 multiplied by 24, which is 120. Okay, so this here is going to change to 120. Now we're going to get 30x plus 120 equals uh, 660. We're going to take bring the 120 over the other side and then take it away. So what we're going to get is 30x equals 660 minus 120, which is going to be 540. Now we have to divide 540 by 30 to get the uh, standard rate, which is 18 euro. So it's 18 euro per hour for standard work and 24 euro per hour for overtime. So it's gonna be 18 and 24. And as you can see here, 18 and 24, okay. So 
So we're going to uh, move on to the next question, which is question four. Okay, so for question four, what we're going to be looking at here is solve the simultaneous equations. Now, the problem with this one is the fractions, okay? So we're going to have 2x minus y equals 18. And next we're going to have x over 3 minus y over 4 equals 2. Now what we got to do is we got to find out the lowest common denominator between 3 and 4. So we're going to go 3, 6, 9 and 12, 4, 8 and 12. This means it's the number 12. Okay, so 12 is the lowest common denominator there. Okay, so we got to change them both into 12s. Now, to change the 3 into 12s, we got to multiply by 4. If you multiply the bottom of a fraction by 4, you must also multiply the top of the fraction by 4. Likewise, on the bottom, we're going to turn this 4 quarters into 12s by multiplying the bottom by 3. And if you multiply the bottom by 3, you must multiply the top by 3. Next one is, if we need to turn this one into 12s, it's over 1 at the moment, and 1 isn't good enough, so we want to change that to 12s. Multiply the bottom by 12, therefore you must also multiply the top by 12. And what we're going to get is 4x minus 3y all over 12 equals 24, because 12 multiplied by 2 is 24 over 12. Both sides are being divided by 12. So what we can do here is we can cross off the 12s, and our equation becomes 4x minus 3y equals 24. And this here is going to be 2x minus y. 2x minus y uh, is going to equal 18. Okay. So next thing step to do is to choose which letter you want to uh, get rid of okay so to figure out which letter you want to get rid of uh, we can have a quick look here now I think the two would I think the x's would be easier so if I multiply if I look between the two of these okay what I can do is I can change 2x into 4x quite easily by multiplying by 2 okay so what I'm gonna do here is gonna multiply the bottom one by 2 so we're going to get a 4x minus 3y equals 24. Multiply the bottom one by 2. I'm going to get 4x minus 2y equals 36. Now the problem here is it doesn't cancel. So I'm going to have to change everything from... I'm going to have to change the sign. I'm going to multiply this one by minus 1. So I'm going to get minus 4x plus 2y equals minus 36. Then when I do that, the 4x cancel with the minus 4x minus 3y plus y is minus 1y and then 24 minus 36 is minus 12 and then therefore y will equal multiply both sides by minus and we'll get y equals 12 now that we know y equals 12 we can now use this equation here and we can say 2x minus 12 because y is 12 equals 18 Bring over the minus 12, it becomes a plus 12. We now know that 2x equals 30, and therefore x must be 30 divided by 2, because it's multiplied by 2 on the left, which on the right means divided by 2. x equals 15, y equals 12. Let's find out. 15 and 12. Correct, okay? Next, move on. Next one. Okay. The cost of hiring a car C for N days is given by the formula C equals A plus B N, where A, B is an element of N. What A, B element N means is basically A and B are numbers, whole numbers above, starting from one upwards, okay? So these are the answers for A and B, and they can go as high as it wants, okay? Now, the cost is A plus b multiplied by n okay and n is the number of days so it costs 420 euro for five days okay so it's going to be 520 is the cost a remains the same and b gets multiplied by five 
so basically 420 420 equals a plus 5b spin that around a plus 5b equals 420 so that's my first formula okay now my second formula is it costs 870 euro for 11 days to hire the car so once again the cost for this one is 870 a still equals a and it's going to be b times n so it's going to be L b times 11 all okay. right and now it's going to be 870 equals a plus 11b and a plus 11b equals 870 okay so it's going to be a plus 11b equals 870 now what's going to happen next is we're going to uh, take these away from each other now what's the very handy thing about this equation is that they're both they both have uh, a so we can get rid of the a is quite easily so i'm going to multiply the top one by minus one and see what happens here okay so what we're going to get is uh, minus a minus 5b equals minus 420 on the bottom we're going to get a plus 11b equals uh, 870 line underneath here plus a minus a cancels 11b minus 5b is 6b 6b equals uh, 870 minus 420 which is 450 what is 450 divided by 6 and what we're going to get there is 75 okay so b is 75 so solve write two equations in a and b we did that earlier these two equations here and solve them to find our values okay so b is 75 now we have to find out what a is so a plus five times 75 so five hours costs us 420 so now we'll just do five times 75 multiply that answer by five it's 375 so a plus 375 equals 420 so do 420 minus uh, 375 and what we get there is 45 okay so bring over the 375 over to your side and we get a equals 45 now the end of the question asked me uh, hence find the cost of hiring the car for 15 days so for 15 days okay so the cost equals a plus b n okay so cost is 45 plus b b is 75 multiplied by the number of days which is 15 days so let's put that directly into the calculator 45 plus uh, 75 multiply by 15 and we get is 1170 and that's what we'd expect we expect it to be more expensive than 11 days so 45 75 1170 so let's see how we did here one second 1170 45 75 okay uh, next question uh, part c okay at what point do the lines 2x plus 2y equals 1 and 5x minus 2y equals 12 intersect well we just have to solve a simultaneous equation to to find this out so all i have to write down is uh, 2x plus 3y i need to find out the x value and the y value and this is the point okay equals 1 5x minus 2y equals 12. So once again, just gonna do my magic line here. The window, gonna multiply the top one by two, the bottom one by three. And what I'll get is a 4x plus 6y. 
4 x plus 6 y equals 2 uh, 15 x minus 6 y equals uh, 36 the 6 y's will cancel we'll get a 19 x equals 38 now 38 divided by 19 is uh, going to be 2 so x equals 38 divided by 19 x equals 2 so the answer for that is x equals 2 replace in your your x value so we're going to use this equation uh, here to find out what y is so this equation here so we're going to get 2 times 2 2 multiplied by 2 plus 3y equals 1 4 plus 3y equals 1 bring our other side it comes minus 4 and then what we're going to get is a uh, 3y equals minus 3 and then y is going to be minus 3 divided by 3 put that into the calculator you get minus 1 our xy coordinate is going to be 2 bracket minus 1 okay two bracket minus one correct okay now we're on to question five five a solve the simultaneous equations okay now this one here we're going to do what we always do let's bring x and y over to, over to the one side so the two y goes over one side so we're going to get three x minus two y equals 22 bring the two x over to your side we're going to get minus two x plus 5y uh, equals 0 now let's get rid of the y's look through the window the top one sees a 5 the bottom one sees a 2 multiply the top equation by 5 the bottom equation by 2 and what we're going to get is 15x minus 10y equals 110 because 5 times 22 is 110 uh, 2 times minus 2x is minus 4x 2 times 5y is 10y and then 2 times 0 still 0 put it in 10y's cancel each other minus 10y plus 10y cancel each other 15x minus 4x is 11x 11x equals 110 divide it down by 11 and we get x equals 110 over 11 and x equals 10 now that we know what x is we need to find out what y is so we can just do what we did what we had at the start 5y equals 2x from the top okay and then what we can say is 5y equals 2 times 10 which is 20 y therefore equals 4 so we're looking at 10 and 4 for the first answer okay 10 and 4 let's continue on okay 5b a parallelogram the shape a b c d of a parallelogram is a parallelogram write two equations in x and y and solve their values well we have to know about parallelogram is that this side here must equal this side here so 5x plus y plus 5 equals 3x plus 4y plus 8 bring them all over one side and bring bring the x's and y's over one side and bring the other numbers over the other side so what we're going to get is 5x minus 3x plus y minus 4y equals 8 minus 5 and now we get 2x minus 3y Two x minus three y equals three. Okay, so that is the uh, value there of two x minus three y equals three. Okay, and uh, the next part, which is going to be representing the uh, this that's sort of representing the two red sides. Okay, we're going to get an equation that represents the uh, two blue sides. The two blue sides is are equal to each other so it's going to be x minus y equals 7 minus x minus 2y now bring the 
minus x and 2y over the other side and what we get is x plus x minus y plus 2y equals 7 and what we're going to get is 2x minus plus y equals 7 2x plus y equals 7 now we're going to take them away and I'm going to multiply the top equation by minus 1 okay and when I do that it's going to give me a minus 2x. I'm going to get rid of the x's, okay? So I'm going to get minus 2x plus 3y equals minus 3. 2x plus y equals 7. The 2x's will cancel off with your minus 2x plus 2x cancels. 3y plus y is 4y. 4y equals 7 minus 3, which is 4, or minus 3 plus 7, which is also 4 y equals 4 over 4 which is equal to 1 now we know that y equals 1 we can use this equation here 2 times x plus 1 equals 7 bring over the 1 it becomes minus 1 2x is therefore equal to 6 this makes x when we bring the 2 underneath 6 over 2 x will equal 3 the answer for that question is 3 and 1 Okay, so we know that x equals 3, y equals 1. Okay. x equals 3, y equals 1. Okay, last question on simultaneous equations. A father is uh, x years old. His son is y years old. And the sum of their ages is 58. Okay, so let's write down two equations. Okay, so let's write down two equations, okay? So, uh, the age of the father plus the age of the son, currently speaking, is 58. Okay, five years ago, five years ago, if I'm 18 now, five years ago I was 13. So you take away five. So both of them are five years, five years younger, okay? So this means that the, so the father is x minus 5 years old and the son was y minus 5 years old 5 years ago. Now the father was 5 times as old as the son back then. So the father's age, which is x minus 5, must equal 5 times the son's age, which is y minus 5. We then multiply this out and what we will get is x minus 5 equals 5y minus 25 bring the 5 over this side to 5y the other side and what we'll get is x minus 5y equals uh, 5 minus 25 and then we'll get x minus 5y equals minus 20 okay so now we have our uh, two equations Okay, so these are our two equations here. Now we need to solve them to figure out what are the current ages, okay? Find the current ages. Find the age of the father and the son. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply the bottom one by minus. So it's going to be minus, plus, plus to get rid of. We're going to get 6y equals uh, 78, because 58 plus 20 is 78. 78 divided by 6 is 13 okay so the son's current age is 13 so 78 divided by 6 y equals 13 now we have to find out what age the father is when I add their ages together it's 58 this makes the father's age uh, this makes the father's age 45 because I'm going to bring 13 over the years so I take away 13 x equals 45 so they're 45 and 13 but let's check out five years ago five years ago the father's age would have been 40 and the son's age would have been 8 is this five times bigger yes it is because 40 is five times bigger than 8 so I already know it's right it's going to be 45 and 13 has to be 45 and 13 okay guys that's the end of this video